What's going on guys? It is TJ back again with Gold Label Sports and today as you guys can tell by the title of this video I am going to help you create a budget that could replicate $52,000 in extra income per year buying and selling sports cards with and also adding portfolio value onto your investments. So first things first guys, if you are new, before we get into this video, please smash the like button, comment what you guys are investing in now, and subscribe if you are new. We're on the road to 400 subscribers, and we're very, very close. If we can get there, that'd be awesome. Then we can be on the road to 500, and so on and so forth. So today, we are going to be creating a budget, all right, a budget, to get us to that $52,000 a year extra income mark. You may think that's crazy, but it's actually not, right? I developed a little mini budget, you know, a little mini budget meeting. I wanna go over it with you guys today and just let you guys know what I'm doing to create that extra income, all right? So right now I am developing a budget, which I'm actually executing that budget right now, and I'm buying anywhere from $350 to $500 in cards a week most of the time. Some weeks I don't, right? I kind of let the market settle, see what I want to do. But most of the time I'm buying a pretty good amount per week, good volume, all right? Every single card I buy before it even comes in the door is making me money. For example, I just bought a Pop 101 Spider-Man that I got on auction for $90. It's a Gem in 10 right here and it replicates um, one of the rarest Spider-Man comics ever, all right? I control the market now, it's my, right? It's my, uh, my card. Okay, uh, you wanna find cars that are extremely low population, all right, and have a diversified portfolio. You wanna do this in, right? Pokemon cards, like we've said, sports cards, and for my example, Marvel cards, all right? So right away, all right, I have to hit $1,000 a week in portfolio value or sales for the rest of the year. Let's say if I'm going from January 1st all the way to the end of the year, I have to do $1,000 a week on average, okay, to create $52,000 a year in extra income. I actually found a really interesting graphic, guys. Looks like this. It actually shows you a mini little breakdown of what you guys can make per week to create extra income, right? And how this applies to sports cars is it's so awesome, right? You can go and buy a card under market value, right? Like I said, that's Spider-Man, or a LeBron James card or Michael Jordan card. A lot of those times, that's what I'm what I'm buying. I wanna relate, you know, relate to what I'm doing. And I'm buying Jordans considerably under market value. You know, I'm trying to buy as many nines and tens as I can, all right, in the 75 to 125, some higher end, you know, range. But I am also buying them when I'm basically doubling the market value. So I'm buying a car, let's say it's $75, that's worth 145, you see what I'm saying? So there we go, there's $75 under our total. Ka-ching, right here, boom, $75. Just like I said, that Spider-Man um, card that I got, Gem Mint 10, Pop 101, right? That card I got for 90, that card is estimated to be 350 to $500 in the next month or two because it's replicated one of the most famous comics ever. And Marvel is just spiking like wildfire. All right, so that's five, let's say, um, do, the, do the math. 500 minus 90 is 410. So 410 plus $75 is 485, all right? So we're at 485 already within the week. Okay, you guys see how easy this could be for you if you really have a mapped out strategy. We're at 485, all right? Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to do another $100 card. I just bought a LeBron James, all right? Bowman Elevation Refractor PSA 9. It goes for, on average, 200 to 225. I got it for $100, okay? So you see, there's my margin. I'm already at another $115. So we're at 485. Just made another $115, guys. Now I'm up to $600, all right? Already within the week, off of three cards. Three, $600. Okay, so we have to find some way to get this last $400 um, to meet our goal for the week. Okay, now as I go for the bigger, the bigger end cards, I wanna do one more big margin card. And right now, I would honestly say it's Charizard, guys. Charizard is very low right now, um, and I, it's probably not gonna be this way much longer. It's gonna spike back up, all right? So I'm looking, I, I'm actually about to buy a Charizard here shortly, and um, 
not gonna tell you what it is yet, but I'm gonna release it soon. And this one's probably gonna have another margin. I'm gonna get it for 90, all right? And then I'm gonna, it's worth 200 right now, right? It's market cap. So I'm gonna scoop that up. So there's another $110, all right? So we're at $710 between four cards that I we have made in our pocket. Ooh, you see how I do one huge card, some middle margin cards, and then little or little cards. All right, you don't have to hit home runs on every single margin, but you wanna stay consistent between 75, 50 to $75 and then 100 and up to 100. And then try to do a big card that is anywhere, you know, 300 to $400 margin. And you be surprised, there is cards like this that you can find, especially within the Marvel and um, sports cards. If you can, I would say sports cards are a little harder, but Marvel right now is your best chance to do this strategy to make that extra $52,000 a year. All right, so if I can continue this process, you see what I mean? I hit my $1,000 mark, let's say, and I continually do this week over week, just buy off of four cards and see how my total spend, my total spend isn't that much, right? I've only spent, I've hit my budget, right? $400 and I've already made, you know, the that, like I said, 700 some dollars, right? And if we wanna do a minimum, let's say we make a minimum, we, I would say 700 is a, is a safe bet you can hit consistently. $1,000 is pretty, pretty hard consistently, but if you push yourself to really do the research, really find these cards that are low right now and push yourself, you can do it. A lot of people are doing this right now. My clients that I'm helping are following these strategies. They're creating a lot of extra income per week. Um, and they're trying, and they're actually now stabilizing out with their, oh my gosh, I'm doing this consistently every week. And they're gonna reach 30 to 50 grand a year extra on top of their everyday life. All right, guys, it's very attainable. It's very ap and applicable too. You can do this with anything that you're in, whether it's Pokemon, Marvel, sports cards, you know, like you guys are watching it for. I'm doing this with sports cards. I'm doing this with Pokemon. I'm doing this with Marvel. And I'm trying to do this in three subsets. What do you think I'm gonna do when I create three subsets of a thousand a week? That could potentially equal 150 grand at the end of the year, guys. If I wanted to sell at the end of the year, man, just think about that. Just think about that. And that's very doable, especially within this market. All right, and especially right now, the market has dipped. Um, and Marvel and Marvel is on the on the high sports and Pokemon are on the low right now You guys got to really buy into those dips All right, you don't get don't get emotional and freak out just because it's a little little low All right, this is the time to buy that's what I said right now is buy 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 You want to stack up from now all the way through the summer for a huge payoff at the end of the year and into the spring of next year when it's buying season when it's selling season guys Man, we gotta get we gotta get locked in. We gotta get ready. All right, the opportunity is now to create budgets like this, maximize the budget. All right, don't just don't just meet, meet the budget where I'm buying four hundred dollars worth of random cards. That's not gonna work. You got to buy specifically. You got to hit these huge margins: seventy-five dollars, a hundred dollars. Right, if you can do this, okay, you're gonna create such financial freedom for yourself. You won't even know what to do. It is so exciting right now and the market is so exciting um, when it is a low right now to buy. Um, prices like these are never gonna be like this again from Jordan to Mahomes to I think you know even Justin Herbert and LeBron James and po some Pokemon cards and Marvel cards. Um, and then obviously when PSA and BGS open back up for grading guys, CGC just announced a big price increase. If you guys aren't taking advantage of these of these huge things and preparing a big PSA and BGS um, submission like like we are over here, I already sent in three submissions to CGC. They're going to total out to almost ten grand in revenue um, when I sell them, and that's just like if I would sell them right when they get back, guys. That's not even if I'm holding them. So you got to set yourself up in positions like this to create fifty-two thousand of extra income, or ten grand, or thirty grand, or twenty grand, whatever your goals are. You can apply these strategies at any given moment, at any given week. Um, so guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. This is how you create a very, very easy, easy $700 to $1,000 a week extra um, just by hitting those margins, all right? Buying cards for the high, all right? Buying cards for the high that are worth way more than they really are on the market, right? So Spider-Man, like I said, that Spider-Man card, got it for 90 worth you know, 200, 300, 400 plus because I control the market. It's a pop one and um, you gotta be realistic, but yet you control the market. Sports cards, the bronze and Jordans, they're low right now. 
grab them up before they go up even more, all right? Scout those auctions out, find, it, find cards that are selling for lower than the market. Pokemon cards, Charizard, the big guy, all right? He's at a low right now, okay? So you need to buy the dip. Do not run away from the dip. Buy, 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 buy. Okay, so if you can do this consistently, like I said in the beginning, all right, you can create a sustainable weekly portfolio increase that will total up to $52,000 a year um, extra income. Um, so that's the video for today, guys. I'm TJ with Gold Label Sports. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you in the next one.